Hello, kindergarten. Welcome to this week's directed drawing with Miss Mandy. Um, today we're going to be doing something very springy. We're going to draw a butterfly. So you will need a piece of paper, a black marker, or a black crayon, and some crayons. So we're going to start with our black marker, and we're going to do a small circle towards the top of your paper. And this is going to be your butterfly's head. Next, we're gonna be drawing a oval shape. So we're gonna go right underneath this small circle and we're gonna do a long oval shape. So that's just a long stretched out circle. Next, we're gonna go right under that oval and we're gonna do another circle. This one's gonna be smaller than the head. A circle right under that oval. And once you're done with that, we're gonna do another oval right underneath the circle. A long stretched out oval. And this is your butterfly's body. Now we're going to go back up to the head and we are going to draw our butterfly's face. So we're going to do two eyes and they're just going to be two circles, one and two. And then I like to fill them in with black again so that they stand out. So I'm just going to do that right now. Fill them in with black. And sometimes I leave a tiny little dot. It kind of makes them look like they're shiny. Next, we're going to draw some eyebrows. So right over one of your eyes. You're going to just do a straight line right over the top. And you're going to go over to the right eye and do the same thing, just a straight line. And those are your butterfly's eyebrows. Next, we're going to do a smiley face. So the smile, the mouth is towards the bottom of the face. So we're going to start here on the left and just do a smile face. Smile mouth with two little lines at the ends of your smile. Next, we're going to draw a nose. So where is your nose? It's in the middle of your face. So we're going to go right here to the middle. And this one's going to be a little bit of a curved line. It's like an upside down smile. And that is your butterfly's face. Next, we are going to draw the antenna coming out of the top of the head. So those are just going to be, we're going to start at the top of the head and we're just going to do a straight line. I guess it's a little bit curved. And then we're going to do a dot, a circle, filled in circle right at the top of the line. And that's the antenna on the left side. And then we're going to do one on the right side. So we're going to go give some space, go to the right side on the top of the head and do a curved line. And then a filled in dot, filled in circle, right at the end. And now we have two antenna. Next, we need to connect the head to the body. So if you have a space here, you're just going to draw a straight line from your head to the body. So 
So next we're gonna give our butterfly some arms. So we're gonna start here on the left side of the body towards the top. And we're just gonna do kind of a triangle. So we're gonna go straight out and straight back in and connect to the body again. So it kind of looks like a triangle on the side. So you're gonna go straight and straight back in. Then we're gonna do that again on the other side. Try to go about the same place, but on the right side. We're gonna do another triangle on its side. So you go out and back in. So once you have those arms, we're gonna give our butterfly some hands. And so we're gonna to go to the bottom of this arm and we're gonna do another curved line, kind of like a smile, but smaller. And that's her little hand. Then we'll go to the other side and do another little smile coming out to that side. And now we have two cute little butterfly hands. So next we'll give our butterfly some legs. So we're gonna start down here at the bottom and we're gonna do a straight line out. And then we're gonna give her another leg straight down. So now she has two legs. Then we're gonna give her some feet. So <clears throat> really this is just kind of a pointed toe. You wanna to do a little bit of a smile again. Cause that's kind of what butterflies look like. And then do one on this side as well. And now she has feet. Next up are the wings. So you may run out of space because they're gonna be on the side, but just do your best to stop before you get to the end of your page. So we're gonna start towards the top of the butterfly's head. And we're gonna go straight line up. So once you have that, we're gonna start at the end of this straight line and we're gonna do a curved line to about there. So you'll stop your curved line right where your butterfly's elbow would be. And then we're gonna do a part of a triangle shape. So we're gonna start here where we stopped, we're gonna go straight down and then straight back to the body. Just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna start same place I started on the left side, but I'm gonna start on the right side, on the right side of the butterfly's head. And I'm gonna do a straight line up. Then once you have that, we're gonna start where you stopped here at the top and do a curved line down to the elbow. And then stop right there. And we're gonna start where we stopped, right here by the elbow. And we're gonna do a triangle shape. Down, and then back to the body. Now you have two wings. So at this point, you can decorate your wings kind of however you want. You can put, um, I usually like to put a 
oval or a circle in the corners of the wings. So I did an oval on each of these on the top. And then I'm gonna do a circle right there. And then a smaller circle. And I like my wings to look the same. Usually butterflies' wings look the same on both sides. So I'm going to go to this side and do what I did on the left side. One circle, two circles. But you can decorate the wings however you would like. Sometimes I like to put a really long stretched out oval. It's up to you. And then butterflies' bodies have stripes on them. So I'm gonna go back to the top of the body. I'm gonna start on one side and then I'm gonna do a curved line to the other side. Then I'm gonna go down a little bit, same thing. Start on the left side, curved line to the other side. Give a little space, left side to the right side. Give a little space, left side to the right side. And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom part of the body and do the same thing. Curved line from the left side to the right side of the body. Give a little space, left side to the right side. Give a little space, left side to the right side. All right. So now you get to color it. I am going to do green for my butterfly's body. You can do stripes if you want. You do a light green and a dark green. There are some butterflies, I think, that have blue bodies. So butterflies are really colorful, so you can get creative with this and do pretty much whichever colors you want. Color her face. And I'm going to do a yellow wing. All right, and since our butterfly is a little bit uh, 
of, she has a little bit of an attitude, I would say. I'm gonna give her a bow on the top. So if you wanna give your butterfly a bow, it's just gonna be a little circle and then two triangles coming out the side. her bow purple and don't forget that you can label your drawing so I'm gonna label this bow B -b bow B bow so you can give your butterfly name. So this butterfly looks like she might be called Betty. So I'm going to name her B A T. All right, I hope you can get out and enjoy the sun and maybe see some butterflies. See you next week.